let's imagine this scenario a student has one profile and profile has one profile detail now there is no direct relationship between student and profile detail table but there is a intermediate relationship via the profiles table so if we want to fetch profile detail of each student directly we can do that using has one through relationship let's define this relationship we already have a relationship between student and profile we are calling it information instead of profile and within the profile model we have defined that profile has one profile detail we are using the detail over here in the profile detail i have not defined any relationship but if you want you can define the inverse of the relationship to the profile model so let's see how we can connect student and profile de detail using the has one through so i'm going to define a method i'm going to call it detail remember we can call it anything that we want so in this case i'm calling it detail what it is going to do is it is going to return this has one through so now the first parameter is the name of the final model the final model in our case is profile detail so we are going to call app profile detail class and the second parameter is the name of the intermediate model which in this case is profile so i'm going to call app profile class the third parameter is the foreign key in the profile table this table so we know that it is student underscore id the fourth parameter is the foreign key in the profile detail table and we know that it is profile underscore id fifth parameter is the column in the student table which is used to link student and profile table and we know this is the id column which is used to link them and same way sixth parameter is the column in the profile table which is used to link profile and profile detail table so we know that it is again id we do not need to pass all these parameters some of the most of them are optional and laravel will automatically determine them but i'm just passing all these parameters so that you know and aware what are these parameters and how we can override if our database is not following the proper convention so now let's go to tinker and see how we can use this i'm going to fetch the first student and now i can fetch the detail from the profile detail table using stu details which is the name of the method that is defined over here in fact it is detail so now if i press enter i get the city and state which are defined in the profile detail table if this relationship was not defined what i would have to do is i would have to fetch the profile which i can do using the information and from there i would have to fetch the details in fact it is known as detail and that would have given me the data in the profile detail table but because of this relationship would simply do student and then detail so that is how has one through relationship works we already saw in one of our last video that student has many comments which we refer to as recommendation 
now each of these comments have multiple likes so in order to fetch all the likes for a student we need to query through comments table we could define a relationship has many through on student table which would fetch all the likes let's see how we can do that similar to the method that we defined for ha has one through we are going to define one for has many through we are going to call it likes and this would return has many through so the first parameter we are going to pass is the name of the final model which would be app like and then the class second parameter is the name of the intermediate model which is app comment class third parameter is the foreign key in the comments table so we know that it is student underscore id fourth parameter is the foreign key in the like table and that is comment underscore id fifth parameter is the column in the students table which is used to link student and the comments table which is the name of the primary key id and the sixth column is the name of the primary key in the comments table which is again id as discussed we do not need to pass all these parameters because laravel will automatically assume them for us but we are just passing them so as so that we understand what are all the parameters so let's go to tinker and see how this works we are going to fetch the student and then we can fetch the likes of the student using the likes keyword and there we go it gives us all the likes which are related to this student if we had not defined this relationship we would have to fetch all the comments for this user and then we would have to loop through all the comments to get like for each of those comments but defining the has many through relation makes it very simple and clean using a single command in the next video we start looking at the polymorphic relationships thank you